Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today I'm bringing you actually a friend of mine, uh, his gameplay, and uh, you could kind of say that we grew up in this YouTube community together. Uh, we both got into the game, uh, or we met each other about a year ago, and uh, to be quite honest with you, he was uh, a guy that I looked up to when I got into this, because when I started, he was kind of already underway. Uh, but, uh, you know, since then, we've, we've become really good friends, and, uh, you know, I thank him for that, uh, that friendship. Uh, and I wanted to give back to him by putting up uh, this epic gameplay that he, uh, he sent me. Uh, so his name is Fantasy, uh, but he's, he's also known as Jeff in the real world. And uh, if you guys would, uh, you know, leave a comment for him. Also, go check out his channel. I I'll leave a link to it in the description as well as an annotation on the screen. It would make me very happy if you guys went over there, uh, left him a comment, even subbed him up. And I'm sure it would make him very happy as well. So, without further ado, uh, enjoy the game, and uh, I will see you guys later. Damn, that shit was deep. What's up, guys? Like Dusha said, my name is Fantasy, and... Uh, like he also said, I'm going to be bringing you guys a pretty epic gameplay that I got on uh, the map firing range. So for this game, I'm using the AK-74U with the grip attachment and my perks are Hardline Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja, not Pro. So basically, me and Dusha met, uh, like he said, about a year ago. We met on the PS3 through um, the channel, a, a channel that started up called Pure Logic Gaming. And uh, that's basically where we uh, we met, we, we played together. And that clip that you guys saw at the beginning, um, that's where me and Dustra kind of, uh, it's where we really hit it off, as, as you can say. That's where uh, it all started, and I just want to stop right here and say, what the fuck kind of death was that? I just got hit in the face by an RPG. But, um, yeah, like I, like Dustra said, me and him, we kind of grew up in this thing together. Uh, we started at the, around the same time, and uh, our channels kind of grew at the same time. They were growing at the same speed for a really long time. Um, his channel kind of blew up with the whole Huppet gaming thing, and I was, I like, I he knows and I know it, uh, I couldn't have been happier for him. Uh, I think if there's a person on this, uh, in this whole community that deserves uh, 200,000 subscribers, it's Jushra, and that's just the way I feel. Um, my channel, it was slowly getting there, I was at around 10,000 subscribers, and uh, basically... I had a couple strikes due to copyright, and uh, when the whole Black Ops Activision thing uh, happened, uh, Activision freaked out because I talked about Black Ops in one of my videos, and they shut my channel down. Um, I didn't really tell anyone about it because uh, I I didn't really want any help to try to build my channel back up, but that's uh, basically that's what happened. It got copyrighted and it got uh, shut down. So enough about that. Uh, I started out fresh again. Back uh, I'm starting. I have my own channel now, I'm about 1,500 subscribers, and I'm just doing this thing, uh, doing my thing, you know, just uh, uploading videos that I really enjoy and that uh, that I think that other people will enjoy. So if you guys enjoy this video, well, come check out my channel, and yeah, you'll find more of the same stuff uh, around there. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the gameplay right now. Like I said, I'm using the AK-74U with the grip. Uh, my kill streak layout is the uh, Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and the Dogs. And... Uh, a little tip that I can give you guys when I when I get uh, the Blackbird, I know a lot of people once they get their Blackbird, their next kill streak is usually a Chopper Gunner. That's just the way it is. Once you get the Blackbird, if you can't get the Chopper Gunner after your Blackbird, <sighs> switch games, cause uh, you know, I mean, I understand if you're calling your Blackbird and there's like a huge crowd of people around you and you just can't get the kill, but uh, m ten times out of uh, ten, you should win that gunfight, cause you know exactly where the guy's coming from, and uh, you know what direction he is, exactly where he's coming, and when he's going to start shooting at you, so and a little tip that I can give you guys is once you get your Blackbird if you have, if you're using this kind of kill streak like I'm using where I'm using Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs or even if you're just using Blackbird and then Chopper Gunner once you get your Chopper Gunner, take advantage of the Blackbird um, stay, leave it up there and get your kills, rack up your kills with your gun and the reason I say this is because it gives you such an advantage over the other team when you know exactly where they are like you guys know what the Blackbird does, it highlights them shows the direction they're going, shows exactly where they are on the map at all times. So, like I was saying, if you know exactly where they are the whole time, you're going to get a lot of kills. So, stay outside of your chopper gunner. Once you're in your chopper gunner, you can't really take advantage of that. Like, of course, you're going to get a lot of kills in your chopper gunner, but you'll get just as many kills if there isn't a blackbird in the air. So, that's a little tip I can have. And if you're using the kill streaks, uh, chopper gunner, blackbird, and dogs, like I'm using, not necessarily in that order, but like I'm using in this game, uh, my my tip that I can give you guys is to get your chopper, uh, get your blackbird, call it in, get your chopper gunner, but don't call it in right away. 
Call in your attack dogs first, like get your attack dogs, call that in, and then call in your topper gunner once you die, or once the blackbird goes away. And that's basically, that's what I did this game, I did it a couple times, and you guys will see it pays off uh, in a pretty, pretty good way. So, uh, firing range is probably becoming my favorite map of all time <laughs> in any Call of Duty. Um, I like it a lot more in Nuketown, I, when I get Nuketown now, it's not that I don't like Nuketown, but... Oh man, you play that map once and you're playing it four or five times. Now with the new patch, at least you can't you can't play the same map three times, which is amazing because you know you're playing Black or Nuketown at least at least once or twice. Because if you see that map pop up, it seems like everyone votes for that map, and uh, it's it's a good map. But the only thing is, it would be a lot better if the spawns didn't switch so sporadically. If they if they took a little bit longer to switch, then I think the map would be a little bit a little bit better. But seeing as how they they switch so fast. Um, the reason I pulled up my scoreboard there, and you guys are probably wondering like how I was a able to keep playing. I'm recording this in theater mode, and uh, you can pull up your scoreboard in theater mode at the same time as you're watching it. So that's why I uh, pulled it up and I was still shooting. It looked like I was still in the game. If uh, you guys had any questions about that, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the people that I'm playing, they're not they're not uh, 150 watt light bulbs. They're uh, they're they're not the best kind of players. They're not the best Call of Duty players. Uh, they're not an organized team. They're pretty low level. So I mean, yeah, I get a lot of kills. Is it show that I'm a beast player? No, of course not. I mean, I think anyone in their right mind who knows a little bit what they're doing in the Call of Duty series would have been able to get kills like this. But I think it's entertaining gameplay. Uh, and once in a while, it's just fun to watch some person rape face. And what was that death right there? I never shot that car. Apparently, it was on fire, and it blew up beside me. And apparently, I'm the one that that blew it up. So. If you guys know what happened there, leave a comment because I have no clue. So yeah, um, what are you guys' thoughts on Black Ops, Black Ops so far? Um, so far, I've said this in, on my channel and my commentaries before. This is by far my favorite Call of Duty ever made. Uh, to me, it beats out Call of Duty 4. Not by much, but it does beat it out. It beats out Modern Warfare 2 by a long shot. Um, I don't think it was too, too hard to beat out Modern Warfare 2. But, uh, yeah, this game is, is something else. I mean, I, I keep playing it, and even when I die and I, I still don't feel like it's my fault, I don't get as mad as I did in Modern Warfare 2. And I think there's a, a, a lot of key things that uh, Treyarch did extremely well, like with the, the grenade launchers being so underpowered and the explosives being so underpowered. I don't know if you guys have tried Flag Jacket, but that stuff, that, that perk right there is one beast of a perk. Um, Flag Jacket is pretty amazing I mean you can I've been playing I've been playing demolition or, or uh, like a game mode like demolition or sabotage or something and uh, there unfortunately I don't get my dogs I get killed as I go get the last guy but uh, I go to call my chopper gunner and I see that there's a, a cobra in the air and here another thing that I wanted to talk about is once I saw the cobra was there I pretty much knew that because um, that guy's AFK I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to chop, call my chopper gunner for a little while so <laughs> another thing that I could say is that take it like I said here like I said earlier I'm taking advantage of the blackbird here I, I know exactly where they're gonna be so what I do is I, I'm I'm gonna work my way up to another blackbird and there you guys see I get it again and once I get that blackbird I get another chopper gunner and then I get my dogs uh, shortly after so if I would have just sat in a corner and waited for the cobra to leave I, I wouldn't have got all these kills and I would have got I wouldn't have gotten um, my next kill streaks again so I mean like I was saying earlier, use the Blackbird to his full potential. I mean, it's one of the best kill streaks I've ever like witnessed in a first-person shooter. Um, knowing exactly where the person is, as I, he tried to ballistic knife me, and then he tried to shoot me with his primary. And uh, like I was saying, there these aren't the these aren't the best players. But uh, yeah, so here I go to call in my second chopper gunner, and I know that once I finish this chopper gunner, I have another one. And uh, I looked at the score before I. Uh, before I got into this chopper gunner and my hands started shaking because I in Modern Warfare 2 I never got over 100 kills I always got uh, I, my highest I got was 98 98 and 5 was my best Modern Warfare 2 game and uh, in this game <laughs> a week later I mi finally managed to break the 100 kill uh, mark I, I broke 100 kills in Call of Duty 4 plenty of times uh, you guys all know domination on shipment pretty easy mode to get 100 kills but uh, in a game like this uh, where Black Ops where kill streaks don't add it's I, I find it's I, I was really excited after I got this gameplay 
Maybe some people are gonna say I got a lot of them, a lot of the kills with my kill streaks, and I admit I did. But I mean, the kill streaks are a reward for you killing people with your gun. So that's the way they're supposed to be. They're supposed to get you a lot of kills. Getting eight or nine kills with your gun is not the easiest thing to do. Getting ten kills or eleven, like I'm using hardline, so I only need to get ten kills for my dogs. You know, it's not easy to do. Um, so here I, I finished my first chopper gunner, and I I know I have another one, and I check my scoreboard. <laughs> And I see that I'm at 94 kills. Uh, you guys don't see it now because, like I said, I was. Uh, this is from theater mode. But I see that I only needed 10 more kills to break 100, or I mean, six more kills to break 100. So uh, I was hoping that this chopper gunner would do work, and right away, as you guys can probably tell by now, <laughs> it starts doing work right away. And uh, I was really excited. Um, like I said, it's a, a feat for me to get to 100 kills in a Call of Duty game. Maybe some people like, uh, like. Well, I'm not gonna name any names, but some people get them uh, pretty often. But me, I'm not the the most uh, aggressive player. I I usually I usually play to win, and in this game, I just went. To, you know what? I'm gonna kill whore, and uh, it's my turn to get some kills. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, uh, rate this video, show Juice some support by rating the video because it does help out his channel. And if you guys enjoyed the commentary, come and check out my channel. I upload Call of Duty Blit gameplay and some uh, other kind of stuff. So. If you guys liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, come subscribe. Peace.